joining us today. Today we want to present to you our first ever newsletter by video. We're looking forward to showing you a bit of our place in real lifetime, just as we are. We wanted to do a video because we have made so many changes that so many of you have been part of and it's hard to do it on a regular newsletter. And our children are so grown so we thought we'd give you a little glimpse of that too, how they're growing up so nicely. This is the view from our gate as you enter the gate. We're just showing you from the, to the right and then to the left. Joan's gardens that she's been working on. With the help of my friends, but yes. This is an overview of the orchard from the gazebo. Now we've all heard about the yellow brick road and going down the yellow brick road. Well, we don't have a yellow brick road, but we do have a red brick path that down at the end, it's, you can see, leads us to our church. Here we have many fruit trees and here's a couple of guava that are growing on our fruit trees. And here's the mulberry bushes. There's some mulberries there, yeah. One day we hope to get enough to make jam. And more guava here with fruit on it. And more mulberries. If you are thinking that maybe these mulberries need trimmed, we just did. They grow really fast. Papayas and bananas. So many papaya, year round, mostly. Well, this is our church, and we've renamed our church. We had to redo the sign. 
And we changed the name from the Kwakwanda Community Church because we have a number of villages around us and everybody said, well, if, does that mean if we're not from Lee Kwakwanda, we can't come there? So we changed the name to Care Discipleship Church. These bananas grow here. This big flower grows at the bottom and as each petal comes off the flower, it leaves a bunch of bananas. So each bunch, like if you buy a bunch in the store, that comes from one petal. So we have many bananas coming and many papayas. It looks like a fruitful season for the winter coming ahead. Also, along with the fruit trees, we have a patch of pineapple here. They're slow growing. We only get a few a year the way we planted them. This is avocado trees. We have three avocado trees and off in the distance are, are citrus trees. This is a pomegranate bush. We have two pomegranate bushes and of course lots of bananas. sure if he was stealing the bananas or what he was doing. A little minutes old chameleon, I think. It's just little. Let's see, sorry, this is awkward. It's so small, it's hard to get a snap of it. We're going to put it up the tree to join the big ones. Oh, look, isn't it cute? Watch it walk. We had an invasion of termites that got up into our attic and ate some of our rafters so we had to take out the eaten parts and get rid of the termites and rebuild a little bit. We sold our old Toyota van and took the money from that van and made a car park because sun is the one thing that destroys your vehicle so with this car park this keeps the direct sun off our vehicles and allows them to live a lot longer. Here's baking day. One day a week we bake together as part of their school curriculum. It's always a fun day for all of us. Especially for those of us that don't do the baking but get to eat it. We have tea after church, so we serve baking after church to everybody. Patricia, are you camera shy? Here's me and Precious. Joan had a shirt made for each of us out of the same material. Here's my happy place, starting with my mommy and daddy and the grands. And all the grands, I finally got all my pictures up. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I love them all. I love the pictures and I love the kids even more. This is the newest member of our family. His name is Monty. I call him Trouble. These are our friends and they had their 50th wedding anniversary that we were invited to. And these are our good friends that we're partnered with in ministry in Blantyre City Church. Husband and wife, they were married the same year as we were. They had a girl and three boys the same as us. Uh, they're a wonderful couple. This is our school. The kids are busy at school. This is our standard six class or grade six we would know. In this is a standard seven and standard eight. Uh, the standard eight will be writing government exams here this year. And this is standard three and this is the staff room, okay? Mm -hmm. This is Precious. He gets a special teacher. Essie comes and teaches him for 
few hours every day. He's doing amazing, as he's so patient and good with him. And as he has a helper with her. Vi and Mum preaching at the Cholo pastor's thing. Trip we made down into the lower Surrey where we were asked to come and teach at a church. Because of Joseph, that, that his place is possible. He's becoming a rich man. This is our Blantyre City Church where we go to once a week on Wednesdays, and it's a church made up of pastors and leaders from different churches around the city. And it's been such a wonderful thing for Joan and I to go and to sit under wonderful teaching and to be with men and women of God that are really dedicated to the Lord. From the cross to the dead, from the dead to the sky. This is a couple we got to know. We went to their church on Good Friday and spoke at their church. ministries here, Johan van der Ham is with, that they were giving out material to the Lower Sherry because we had so many typhoons this year. So I went with them with my truck and took a load of stuff down. And so here we're just delivering it. We kind of felt like trying to save the Titanic with a teaspoon because the need was so big and, you know, what we had to share with them was so little. Here our four little intercessors are just giving her in prayer. They love to pray, pray these kids from the youngest to the oldest. Whenever we get a prayer request from anywhere around the world, we pray for them and video it and then send the video of us praying for them to wherever they are. I think here we're praying for a man in India. See, in Jesus name. In Jesus name. What do kids in Africa sing about? The, Af the lion sleeps tonight. We can sleep safely. At the start, but we they, we meet together every Tuesday and just have good fellowship. Like Africa, like Africa, and in the Africa, 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 hand out to our elderly that have lost their homes through heavy, heavy winds and rains. And they've just got huts that are made of mud and they're not put together with uh, cement. So any heavy, any heavy rain that's ongoing, they lose their houses. So we went down about 10 rolls of plastic and nails for them today. The girls are in here helping as they always do. Every second Friday we have a video for the community. Uh, this was the Jesus film we did and the response has been amazing. Oftentimes our church is right packed and many people have come to the Okay, now I want to pray for you. Here's 
our newest addition to this place, Little Tando, Essie's Little Son. Here's an African grandma. She's a very good mama. Doing our favorite Sunday afternoon activity. Here's our joy boy. Trying to keep up with his big uncle. Precious. He loves precious. are with their new outfits all ready for Bai's wedding. These are heart-shaped cookies that Amai and the girls made to have for Bai and her husband to hand out at the reception. We decorated really nicely but the wind was so bad it was so hard to keep everything in place. <laughs> Ceremony, Esther's translating. She did amazing. So we hope you have enjoyed this little tour on this uh, newsletter. We want to thank everybody that has helped us in so many different ways. We appreciate very much your prayers, your support, and mainly just knowing that your heart's with us. We want to invite you to continue to be partners with us in this work. Even though it's us with the feet on the ground, we know that we cannot do this without you. We so appreciate every email, every up, everything that, that's done for us here is so appreciated. And we just thank you that you are willing to partner with us in, in this ministry because without you, this is not possible. So we hope that you have enjoyed this time with us as we share with you what's happening with us here in Malawi. We love and appreciate you all very much. Until next time, have a good day.
Say hi. Hi. Say hi. Hi. Hi, Grandpa. Hi, Grandma. Papa. Grandma. Papa.
silencio cuenta por ti. En un sombrero, mi hermano. Aleluya. The Lord bless you. Uh, today I want to appreciate God highly as we celebrate the 70th birthday of my wife, Barbara.
Yeah.